Hey, I saw you look at that tree. Is there something cool about it? I was just checking the area. Nothing special about the tree. Oh, okay. Have you seen an axe lying around here? And can you walk towards it? Yes, I have the axe right here. Awesome. Glad to help. Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to integrate metahuman characters into convey-powered Unreal Engine projects. With convey, these metahuman characters can carry out various actions, engage in human-like conversation, and perceive their virtual surroundings. In this tutorial, we'll be guiding you on setting up the convey plugin, adding a metahuman character to the scene, adding animations, applying lip sync, and finally, enabling actions and scene perception. So to start the integration process, we'll first need to download the Convey plugin, which you can find on the Unreal Marketplace. Simply go to the Marketplace, search for Convey, and you should see it as the first result. Now simply install it to the engine. Of course, I've already installed it, so it's not allowing me to install it again here. After you install the plugin, simply open the project again to where you want to add the character. Next, you'll need to open the Plugins menu, which you can find under Edit, Plugins, and simply search for Convey and make sure it is enabled. After enabling it, you'll need to restart your project. Click Restart, and once the project opens up again, the Convey plugin should be enabled for your project. Now let's add the metahumans that we're going to use. To do that, go to Window, then open up Quixel Bridge. Now click on the metahumans menu. Here, I'll just use one of the characters that I've already downloaded. So I'll just click on the character and click Add. After it's added under the content folder, you'll find a new folder called MetaHumans. Inside the MetaHumans folder, you'll find the characters that you've just added. So let's go inside and simply drag and drop the character to the scene. Next, we'll need to add AI capabilities to the character. Let's go ahead and double click on the character's blueprint. Inside the blueprint, we'll need to do a few things. First, let's add a few animations. Right now, as you can see, the character is standing still. So I'm going to select body under components and from here, we're going to use one of the Convey pre-made animations. Click on Animation Class in the Details panel, and just click the list and type in Convey. Then choose Convey MetaHuman Body Anim. So right away, it will start to have some body animations. We'll also need to do the same thing for the face. So click on the skeleton and repeat the process. Under Animation Class in the Details panel, simply change this to Convey MetaHuman Face Anim. So now we have the animations ready for both the face and the body. We'll also want to change the parent class of the characters, so go to Class Settings and change the parent class from Actor to Convey Base Character. Convey Base Character is a simple blueprint containing a few functions designed to make your development process a bit faster. You can check out the blueprint by clicking on the Edit icon over here. You're very welcome to go ahead, of course, and explore the functionality provided here, perhaps disable some or edit them as you wish. Okay, we're not going to go into many extra details in this tutorial since the goal is to get you started integrating intelligent metahumans quickly. So going back to our metahuman blueprint, we just want to add one last component which is responsible for lip sync. So click add and type in convey face sync. Add that and the character is now ready to go. Now that we've prepared our character, let's get our player blueprint ready. In this tutorial, we're going to use the first person blueprint, but of course you can use any other type. To do that, I'm going to click Add in the Content Browser and then select Add Feature or Content Pack. From here, we're going to select the First Person Blueprint. You could use other types of player blueprints as well. Click Add to Project and you can see some new folders have been added to the Content Browser. Okay, now we're going to need to go to the First Person folder and inside Blueprints, find the Player Blueprint. Let's go ahead and double click on that. All we need to do here is simply change the Class Parent. So go to Class Settings and for Class Parent, Simply change this to the Convey Base Player. As usual, for your convenience, we've added a bunch of functionality in the Base Player Blueprint. You can check this by clicking on the pen icon in the upper right corner. As always, you're welcome to check out the logic here. We've added a couple of widgets for settings and chat functionality for voice and text interactions and so on. Feel free to explore the blueprint and make any changes that you might like. Next, you'll need to ensure that the level is going to use the first player blueprint that we just created. To do that, go to World Settings. If you can't find the World Settings menu or window, just go to Window and check World Settings. So under World Settings, under Game Mode Override, just make sure to use the first person game mode. 
which if you expand this section, you'll find that it includes the BP underscore first person character, which we just imported and edited. So now we're almost ready to go. In fact, if you hit play, you'll be able to move around and the character will have its own face expressions and animations. You will also have a chat widget and settings widget. If you hit F10, you can set your microphone and test it. You can also set the microphone volume in case it is too low. Another thing you can do is change the style of the chat window, like so. There are three different variations that you can test out. So the final thing we want to do is create the AI personality that is going to drive this character. To do that, we'll need to create a free account at the Convey website over at convey.com. Once you've created your account and signed in, you'll see Available Characters. These here are characters that I've already created on my own account. We also have some ready-made sample characters for you to try out. For this tutorial, we'll go ahead and create a new character. Before we do that, however, let's grab the API key for this account. To do that, just click on the key icon and copy your API key. Then, back in Unreal Engine, go to Edit Settings and scroll all the way down until you see Convey. Under API key, just paste in the API key that you just copied. Okay, let's proceed with creating the character. In the new character description, you'll see a field to enter a name. I'm just going to name this character Kyle. Below, you can enter a backstory, which describes the personality or characteristics of the character. I have a backstory ready to go, so I'm just going to copy and paste it here. I want this character to be some sort of undercover agent. So I've added in that he's just infiltrated a high stakes rogue operation, and he's basically trying to escape right now. His plane has been shot down and he's found himself in a jungle. The next step is to choose a voice for the character. Click on Character's Voice. In the drop down list, you'll see several categories of voices. At the top, you'll find a number of convey voices, which are fast response voices that have low latency. We also have a number of GCP voices along with Azure and finally some by Eleven Labs. For this project, I'll go with an Eleven Labs voice. I think I'll choose Clyde, who's a middle-aged war veteran, which should work well with the atmosphere that we're looking for. Okay, now just click Create Character. Once the character is created, you can test the backstory by talking to the character on the website, or we can just copy the character ID and head back to Unreal Engine. Now click on the character and in the details panel find character ID and simply paste in the new character ID. Let's give it a quick test. Hey there, who are you and what are you doing here? I'm just a lost hiker trying to find my way out of this jungle. And how did you enter here in the first place? I got separated from my group during a hiking trip and ended up here by accident. It's worth mentioning that at the very end of the backstory on the website, we specifically told him that you are very wary of revealing your identity to any players or strangers that might talk to you. You will also make up stories to prevent revealing your true identity. So what is happening here is that he's actually trying to cover up his situation by making up some story for us not to discover that he is an undercover agent. Now let's consider actions. Let's say, for example, that we want this character to follow us. We can ask him, can you follow us? And he starts following us. By default, all characters will have a few actions available out of the box. One of them is move, another is follow, and there are a few others. To enable movement in the environment, you'll need to add a navigation mesh. To do that, go to Window, then Place Actors, and search for Nav. You should find Nav Mesh Bounds Volume. Simply drag and drop it here into the scene like so. It's represented by this box here, and we'll just need to make it big enough so that it covers the whole area. Now if you hit P on the keyboard, you'll see these shaded areas, which indicate where the character can move around. So now let's give this a quick test. Let's try to ask the character to follow us. Hey there, I know our way out. Can you follow me? Sure, lead the way. I'll keep up. So as you can see, the character is able to follow us. Now let's talk about scene perception. Let's say the character needs to know about some items in the scene. For example, we want him to know about this axe or perhaps about this tree stump over here. To do that, simply select the character and scroll down under the details panel until you find objects under the convey info section. Here we can add a new object. Use the eyedropper tool to select an object in the scene and then give it a name. You can also give it a description to provide more contextual knowledge for the character. For example, let's type in, you use this ax to cut some trees. Maybe in this scenario, he was trying to make something like a campfire. 
Okay, let's go ahead and add another object to our list. With the eyedropper tool, I'll select the tree stump and call it simply tree stump. For its description, I'll enter, you use the ax to cut this tree. Now let's give it a quick test and see how he responds when we refer to these objects. Hey, what is this ax doing here on the ground? Oh that? I was just helping clear some of the underbrush to make the area a bit more hospitable. I see, and where did you find it? I found the axe near a fallen tree. It came in handy for clearing the area. And what about this tree behind you? I used the axe to cut down that tree. It was blocking my path, so I had to remove it. Can you actually move to the tree and then back to me again? Sure, I can do that. So this was a quick demonstration of scene perception, objects, and actions. We'll have more in-depth tutorials on how to use actions for different use cases and how to add your own custom actions. So for example, you could have the character pick up the ax, perform a dance, or anything else that you would want your character to do. Before we wrap up, let's change the current character to a new one. We'll follow the same process. Go to Window, select Quixel Bridge, and choose Metahumans. I'll choose a new character, for example, Oscar. Download the character, and once it's finished, export it as before. Next, find the Metahuman blueprint. Open the content browser, search for the Metahuman folder, and locate the new character, Oscar. Let's open it and change the parent class. Go to Class Settings and change the parent class to Convey Base Character. This will make the Convey AI component appear. Now let's add animations. For the body animation, choose Convey Metahuman Body Animation. For the face animation, select Convey Metahuman Face Animation. Finally, add the face component by searching for Convey Face Component, which handles the lip sync. Okay, let's add the character to the scene. In the content browser, search for Metahumans and find Oscar. Just drag him into the scene. Copy the character ID from the previous character and paste it in here. We no longer need the old character, so you can just delete it. Instead of manually adding objects to the new character, we'll handle this programmatically within the blueprints. First, delete the old character. Next, we'll use tags to manage the new character's objects. In the details panel, search for tag and add three tags. We'll go ahead and add convey object, name, for example, tree, and description. For example, use the ax to cut this tree. Now let's open the character blueprint bp underscore oscar in the event graph under begin play add a short delay about one second this will ensure that everything is set up correctly next get the convey ai environment object this contains all objects actions and characters that the character knows about add an object by creating a convey object entry structure this structure includes a reference vector which is optional name and description to implement this, get all actors with the tag convey object. Loop through each actor and add them to the character. Retrieve the tags for the name and description, elements 1 and 2 respectively, and plug them in. Now whenever you use this blueprint for any character, objects in the scene will automatically be added to the character. Let's test it out. Hey, do you see that tree behind you? Yes, I see it. What did you do to it? I cut it down to make a makeshift shelter. This demonstrates how to use tagging to add objects to a character programmatically. To confirm, check the output log to see that the axe and tree have been added to the character. Oh, before I leave, would you like to follow me to the base camp? I'd be glad to. Lead the way. Cool. Follow me. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or issues, please email us at support at convey.com or join our Discord community for extra help.